And it is time now for the tea, where we break down some of the buzzy stories people are talking about. Our friend Will Gans is here to help us out with that. Cheers, Will. Cheers, Diane. Good morning to you. I'm Air coming cheers? in. Okay, real cheers. Boom, real cheers. Real cheers. Love it. All right, first up, the gig that so many Hollywood hotshots are fighting over, but it's not a role in a film or even a TV show. Instead, hmm. Ryan Reynolds, Snoop Dogg, and now The Weeknd are all vying to be... The owner of the Ottawa Senators. The weekend has teamed up with two billionaires from Toronto for a bid to buy the NHL team. Meanwhile, Ryan Reynolds is working on a billion dollar bid of his own. And Snoop Dogg has teamed up with producer Nico Sparks. No word yet on when a bid will be selected. So is this like a play off the Wrexham thing where now that the soccer team purchase went so well for Ryan Reynolds, now they want a hockey more? team too? A hockey team? I Just think so. Yeah, it's like Ted Lasso coming to fruition in real life. I'm I'm down. I'm here for it. I know. Me too. And I all of a sudden care about hockey now too. I was going to so. say, does that mean you're going to start reporting on sports now? Go sports. Yes. That's, you, you know me. Go sports. Go sports. Okay. And that was me taking a slap shot, which is a hockey term. Is that what that was? Look it up. It was a it's slap shot? It's in the Google, a slap shot. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and moving right along, <laughs> Drake appears to be pulling up the last of his roots here in America. We're going back to Canada for this one. The Canadian native says he's most comfortable in his hometown of, yes, Toronto. So he's just listed his 24,000 square foot Beverly Hills estate for a casual $88 million. Oh. But that will get you seven bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, atop a hill and it's a mansion sitting on 20 acres with canyon city and ocean views it also boasts a gym wow. a tennis court indoor basketball court and an 11 car garage i think the garage alone is like 10 times the size of my apartment <laughs> yeah can you, we just can we just move in there yeah we, we can do the show can't, live. we can't afford the garage or are we kidding you mean we don't have a, just a small portion of the 88 million dollars it would take to yeah zero coming at you live from drake's garage everybody <laughs> all right and chef is serving up some tea for anyone who's a big fan of the bear the highly anticipated second season of the show will officially debut on june 22nd on hulu with all 10 episodes streaming on that day i love when they do that you don't have to wait for every week for a new episode to come out this season carmy and the team find out that the only thing harder than running a restaurant is opening a new one i know this show. It's so good, but it's also so stressful. I know. Well, you only have to deal with it on June 22nd. Watch all 10 episodes and then put oh it behind you. Oh my goodness. And this then show. don't sleep that night because you're going to feel like you opened the restaurant. That's exactly right. But I'm excited that it's back. And finally, this one, you guys, we the group chat has been blowing up. Everyone who works on the tea is very excited for Bama Rush, the documentary following four female hopefuls as they rush sororities at University of Alabama, dropped its very first trailer. You're looking at it right now, and it heightens all that drama that blew up on TikTok. It's taking it to a whole new level, you guys. One person in the trailer itself says this doc could be, quote, the end of Greek life as we know it. Dun, dun, dun. Bama Rush will begin streaming on HBO Max on May 23rd. I turned my tea into popcorn. Yeah. That's what it should be. This Bama Rush thing, I don't know if you like followed any of it on TikTok, so it started becoming a huge thing. And then, you know, they're picking their outfits, they're having to do all of the different things. And this documentary is taking you right inside. So for those of us who never got to rush Delta New or whatever. <laughs> It makes me happy I went to Boston College where there is no Greek life. I went to Fordham and there's no I, Greek life there no, either. No, yeah. thank you. No, but it's stressful. I'll enjoy watching it. That's exactly right. Will Gans, enjoy watching you, friend. Thank you. Cheers. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.